This was a good apple. And now what should I do with the core? I think there are three options. The first option would be to throw it in the garbage. Then a truck's gonna come, it's gonna take it to a garbage dump, and a tractor is gonna compact it. Most of the garbage will stay there for thousands of years undecomposed. However, it's gonna release methane gas, which is a greenhouse gas, and will contribute to climate change. A second option would be to throw it in the garbage, and then a truck will come and take it to a plant that burns garbage and turns it into electricity. I'm here at the Veolia plant in Birmingham, England, where they make energy from waste. Instead of filling garbage dumps with garbage, the garbage is transformed into something that people use, which is electricity. It's still a, a very complicated process, and there are some emissions from it. Option number three would be to put this in a composting bin and then the municipality will take that to an industrial composting facility and turn this into organic waste that they can use for another purpose. Option number four is the most sustainable of them all. To take this apple core and to put it in your local compost. This could be at a community garden, which is where I'm at, or it could be in your home. The advantage of doing it locally is it means that no truck has to come to take your organic waste. And if you compost it with dry matter and you turn it, the decomposition process won't release methane and therefore won't contribute to climate change. It also means that we're connected to the food we eat because we can reuse this compost once it becomes soil to grow our own food. On Noah's Ark, the Bible teaches that there were three levels, one for people, one for animals, and one for waste. Why didn't they just throw the waste overboard? Well, the Bible teaches that Noah planted a vineyard as one of the first things he did when he left the ark. And where did they get soil? The topsoil had been washed away by the flood. So perhaps they used the compost from the bottom level of the ark in order to grow food when they got out. My core message today is let's leave our children and the next generation a thriving and sustainable planet. One way we can start is by composting.